Hi, today's date is the 5th of June 2018. I just about forgot what it is because it gets so difficult to remember all the dates all the time. Here is a picture that I, um, this is my lookout point, my point of lookout. Uh, and obviously you can see the autumn um, autumn maple leaves. They're not something else like my panel bed I thought they were because they're in my car a lot and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's get on with the chairs. So today's date, I've already said that, and here we go. This is a five minute game against Turkey. My opponent is from Turkey Black, and my opponent is 2080 on chess.com for five minute chess. Here we go. This is um, something very important, something very important in chess is to know how to defend. Because um, if you don't know how to defend and only know how to attack, um, you need to um, you you need to lose a lot of times. You you have to be able to defend in chess, and if you haven't got that in your arsenal to be able to defend or in your um, kit for weaponry, then you don't stand much chance until you learn how to defend. Because it's all about um, keeping the status quo attack and defense so defense is just as important as attack and probably more important so here goes what happens when um, your opponent comes at you and I played this game this morning at about um, 1 a.m. okay so that gives you some idea of what the situation is now here um, Incidentally, I play a mistake. Why? Oh, no, I don't. No, I thought I did because I thought, hang on, black can just play knight g4 now, but it's my move, of course. So here we go, castle, castle. So what I was talking about is if it's black's move here, then this move here. I'm sure everyone would agree. If black's to move, which I thought it was, I had a hallucination, knight g4, and all of a sudden, I'm in trouble. Because it's very very difficult for me to defend my f2 pawn in fact impossible except for that of my queen or hoping that black makes a mistake in the fray so bishop c4 castles castles i better get this done so notice that i've played a king's indian defense <coughs> or king's indian kid or kia you get the drift because it could be defense it could be attack so that's what i'm talking about I've played a King's Indian setup for white, but I've played my bishop to c4 instead of fin shattering it to g2. So, <clears throat> so I'm just playing sort of like um, whatever I feel like playing. And here, um, white is threatening, which I'm not threatening it, it's just going to be. A very strong possibility if black doesn't watch out for b4 um, which would win a piece for a pawn or so okay so knight came back to c6 and i play b4 anyway not because i prepared it or anything like that i just um, felt like playing it So I'm just being a wee bit annoying and I found I made a wee mistake here. Now I should play what? What should I play here that just hassles black a little bit more than the move I played? I played here queen c2, so it's not queen c2. What did I have that is better, in my opinion, that I found maybe it won't be any good anyway? But it seems to look like um, quite a good wee sort of setup sort of thing. As I missed this, okay. Now I've just seen that black has knight g6, of course. And then if I go to attack this e pawn with three pieces, then black would have opportunity to take my queen or to play knight takes e4. So maybe I'm incorrect. So I played queen c2, knight g6 came anyway, and now I'm still 
Um, maybe I played the best move. <laughs> Just joking. H6, Rook D1. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Bishop G4. Now I could literally play something like this. No, I can't. Why? Because of Bishop E2. It shows I could play Knight E1. But then I might meet the following, okay? Real quickly. And um, Black's heralding a nice position for themselves, regardless of whether or not that leads to anything of substance. So I went knight to six and here I don't even know if I played the right move after bishop f3, bishop f3, bishop d6. I took with a pawn. May have been better to take with a rook, but I'm not even sure. Um, black, you know, black stands pretty well in my opinion. Cd6. And now I could probably play um, g3. <coughs> Or I could probably play. Um, I could probably play H3 as well, almost. But G3 looks a little bit better than H3. H3, and I believe I'd be meeting. I, I'm not sure. Okay, so Bishop E2, Bishop C4. Now this looks really bad for White because. Queen E is going to just checkmate me, isn't it? So, yes, my opponent played Queen G4, threatening Queen G2, checkmate, uh, other than other things. Maybe even just Knight G2 if they, they feel so inclined. So I play F3, which is horizontally defending the um, G2 square. Queen G5, and please, I do not say that I'm playing this really well. I played h4, a little bit sort of like weird. Queen h4, bishop e5. Queen g5, and probably now the bet. I don't know if it's the best, but I probably should just play um, bishop f4, but I don't. So maybe my um, crazy, you know, magical play helped here by playing really weird like g4 now <clears throat> um, if the knight moves back which it doesn't want to if it moves back here I would probably take this knight on f6 and if queen takes then queen takes pawn takes and uh, Probably rook up here to d2 and double up on the on the d file. So this is um, just all scheming. I'm not analysing. I'm just scheming here because it's approaching kind of end game status. Although a lot of people wouldn't agree with that, and probably I don't either. So here comes Black attacking my bishop on e5. Of course, so take one of the offenders, the knights. And back comes, back comes Black's reply. If um, Queen F4, then I would obviously, with the red line, take the Knight on H5. So Knight F4, D7, Rook, D8, of course. Doesn't want to play something silly like Rook here because I would then promote my pawn on D8 to a Queen. Queen d2, and I have to make sure I've got my, um, here I have to make sure for the discovery check, knight f4, that my queen is indeed defended by the rook here said. So knight h3, and then I play king h2. Now if any checks like this then I merely just take and pick up the mare on h3 I just lift the knight off the board 
and thereby be a piece up. So queen h4, sort of um, threatening at least, let's say, knight f4, I mean knight f4 or knight f2 check. So it's all pretty hairy, the whole thing. I go king g2. So that now queen f2 is no longer possible because of queen f2 and king f2 winning the knight. Rook d7. Hmm, thank you. I'll take that. Because um, now still if king f2, uh, if queen f2, it might result in a draw, but I don't think so. Then this might be a possibility for black to play this. Now if king here, queen takes looks quite healthy. So king takes um, here and not here. I'll just show you some fun here. Okay, queen here is not checkmate, is it? It says it's checkmate, but guess what? I can move my king there, can't I? Because if the pawn takes my king, I can take black's king. But anyway, that's just um, gobbled a book, obviously. Um, so here, we'll have a look at this real quickly. Here, uh, maybe blacked and I want I don't want to do this because it might stuff up the um, the game score but here might be opportunity without going into it um, for black to um, keep checking my king at least for a while <clears throat> Knight f4 check now this looks like the game is all over and I think I thought, oh, I'm probably going to get checkmated here, I think. But, no. Okay, I'll go king f1. No other real move, is there? If I go king g3, I mean king g1, I can't go king g1, then queen g2 looks very good to me. I'm not even um, I mean queen g3, we'll just have a look. Real quickly, queen g3, uh, I can go king here, queen here, king here, and it's still not even, still not even sure what's going on. I'll probably miss some really, really basic. King f1, now the queen can go to h1, of course. King here. Freedom! That's what uh, Mel Gibson would say. Freedom! We have freedom. I want freedom. So here we go. What's going to happen now? Knight h3. So here comes this um, this queen threat check and all that again. Now what can I play? I can actually play um, rook d2. And I can play other things too, but I played queen d2, queen g3, rook f1, and that's the end of the session. I hope you enjoyed this session today on this winter's day in New Zealand. Thank you very much for visiting my chess channel. And uh, that's all for me on The Muppet Show. David Wiegner, out and over. Thank you. All the best with your chess no matter what level you play at. Probably better than me.